Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Houston Life on this Wednesday, June 15th. I'm Courtney Savala. Halfway through May already. Oh, dear. May? <laughs> What? Halfway through June <laughs> and the week. That's Did what we I rewind? You know What's what I meant, on? right? No, we're live. Bless we got to keep heart. going. Listen, we've got a great show coming up today on Houston Life. Voice actress, singer, songwriter, Adasa, also known as the voice of Dolores in Disney's Oscar-winning epic hit movie, Encanto, joins us live to chat about her success after being part of the smash hit We Don't Talk About Bruno. And guess what, folks? She has Houston area roots. Incredible story, too. Can't wait to sit down with with her, plus modern, traditional, farmhouse chic. What's your dream kitchen? Our design expert will show you how to nail the look. All beautiful choices. And stressed at work or just need to relax at home? Wow, that looks good. Sign Coming up. up, how you can get the spa experience without even leaving the house or the office. Oh, I feel like my bread pressure just went down a yeah. little bit. And Mel Camp is live on location, getting ready to break stuff hmm, for a good reason. Oh yeah, we're going to have a smashing good time here. I have a baseball bat. I'm going to play bad guy. I'm going to smash through, not right now, but in just a moment, smash through that glass and find out how you can actually stop bad guys and debris from hurricanes from smashing through your windows like I'm about to do. Stand by for it. Interesting. Feeling violent. Okay, Mel. <laughs> keep it in check right there. We'll see you in just a bit. Right. But first, it has been such a hot week filled now with Saharan dust. It's very lovely here in Houston. How about a check of the forecast? That is right. I know our eyes are itching too. Justin's in for Frank today. Yep. All right, break it down for us. Well, I wish I had better news for you. It's funny, Dee, when you said, you know, we're halfway through May. It doesn't really <laughs> matter, does it? Because we were this hot during May, too. Not yes. this hot, but you get the idea. We've already, we've, we've been kicked into summer here for at least almost two months. All right. It so, feels like it, for yeah, sure. Yeah, it certainly does. We're, we're going to have a lot more coming up about the dust at 4 o'clock. But first, let's take a live look outside. You can see it out there. You don't even need me to tell you where it is. I can tell you it is here. Look at that just gray haze right across much of the Southwest Freeway looking out from the KPRC2. Studios on the tower cam there, 97 at Bush. We are 94 at Hobby. Sugarlands in the mid 90s as well. Galveston checking in. No relief there down at the coast. 91 as you work your way on down to the island. 98 in Huntsville. Hard to say if we'll get anybody that'll get to 100 today. I, I wouldn't be shocked to see Huntsville maybe flirt with about a 99 or so. Katie out there uh, as well. But of course, feels like temperatures kind of adding insult to injury. We're feeling anywhere from 100 to 105, 102, 104. We've been saying it in the last couple of days. We're going to continue to say it hydrate 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 exact track radar we've got some wild video if you haven't seen it yet coming in from yellowstone national park up in montana the storm train has just been blasting heavy rain there because of that big area of high pressure and of course the dry hot forecast for us here as well and burn bands walker county now has been added to the list we're going to talk more about that but if you're going to be out to walking the dog rilo there don't forget the pause. I was out with the distinguished gentleman this morning and he kept jumping over to the grass because it's just too hot. Now, here's the thing. He likes to walk on the middle of the street versus the sidewalk because he's got little man syndrome because he's about the size of a loaf of bread. But either way, just make sure that if it's too hot for your hands, as we always say, especially top of your hands, too hot for their paws as well. Any relief coming in the 10 day forecast, guys? No, oh, no dear. relief is in November. You may, yeah, <laughs> you may have just said it for me, Courtney, but you know what? We're going to talk about it at four o'clock. Yes, okay. we will. And, and just in uh, funny coincidence, because Brandon's ex had little man syndrome. We yeah. often refer to him as a loaf of bread, too. So <laughs> can you believe? Listen, this this should help with our hydration issues. You did mention hydrating, Justin. We're going to do that right now. Do it. OK, See we're going to drink up while you study those maps over there. <laughs> this is the toucan, Courtney. Toucan, this it is couldn't the have come at a better time. Pride Month cocktail. But wait, can you all see this at home? I hope so. It's a very special cocktail. And the way they made it, it has egg whites, all kinds of delicious flavors in it. But there's this special can you, pride. Can you tilt? I mean, tilt. I could tilt it, but it might dump Don't out there. Don't spill it. Can you all see this? Okay, so you might be asking, where can you get one of these? Flight Club 
Houston, West Dallas and Dunleavy. It's the social darts phenomenon. They opened recently, so they are partnering with the Montrose Center. So every time you buy one of these cocktails, uh, this exclusive pride signature cocktail. There we, there we go. go. That's much better. Look Beautiful. how cute that is. Beautiful. 100% of the proceeds go to the Montrose Center. So the refreshing drink, it is made with Corazon Blanco tequila, mm. Aperol hibiscus syrup, lemon juice and egg whites. It's topped with drops of cocoa bitters, crushed hibiscus flowers, and good. a Pride Houston topper. This is so good. Have what you do had you a sip no, yet? No, I haven't. It I is so light and refreshing. By the way, you can order this uh, at Fight Club for the month of June, 14 bucks. And I just thought it makes me happy looking mm. at it. I'm so well, glad we have four of these. <laughs> True, true statement. Thank you to Emily and Nancy, our friends who brought them over. Cheers. And it's a great way to celebrate equality and love, right? Absolutely. With a delicious cocktail. This is so pretty and I love it. So cute. Um, mm. Okay, listen, we have to move on and talk about this story because there oh. is a nationwide search, if not a global one, for Miss Kelly. Have you heard about this? I did hear about this okay. this morning. Okay, Miss Kelly is the name that we know her right now is she's a woman that was rejected by NASA six decades ago. She wrote a letter asking to become an astronaut. The letter is dated February 20th, 1962. That's when the response was mailed back to her. And it was this detailed response by um, O.B. Lloyd Jr. And at the time, he was the director of PR for NASA. Okay. He basically went on and thanked Miss Kelly for her interest and support in the nation's space project. But, he says, uh, this is what he wrote, this is to advise that we have no existing program concerning women astronauts, nor oh. do we contemplate any such plan. Concerning women astronauts. Yes. And essentially, like, nor do we contemplate, like, we won't this even won't consider ever, this won't having a happen. woman in the program. February 20th, 1962. Um, and I had this, when I was reading this today, and I had this vision of a bunch of guys sitting around a table reading her letter, wanting to become, and they're like, <laughs> oh, poor little girl, like oh patting gosh. her on the head. I mean, it was so, you know, what has happened in, in the years, right? To date, to date, today, 75 women have gone to space, 75, awesome. compared to more than 530 men. That NASA, number, yeah. Yeah, I mean, disproportionate, disproportionate right? Disproportionate, for sure. NASA officially hired their first female astronauts in 1978. So the search today continues for Miss Kelly. Estimating she's probably in her 70s or 80s, she did go to the University of Connecticut because that's the address where that letter was sent to Miss Kelly. And um, who is leading the search for her? Space Kids Global. This is a, a program that really wants to inspire children to go into the space program, but also young girls. And so Space Kids is, is re basically leading the search for Miss Kelly. Interesting that, again, we just mentioned earlier this week on the show, the 60s, it feels like so long ago, but it really was Wasn't. just yesterday. Can you imagine being alive during that time? You're totally qualified for a job, but because of your gender identity or, you know, whatever, however you were born, however you present in the world, oh, you're a woman, you can't do this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's hard to imagine. Cheers to finding Miss Kelly. Cheers to finding Miss Kelly. I hope, uh, well, it, hopefully she can still go to space. That would be incredible. Wouldn't hey, that be awesome? Speaking of girl power, so Janet Jackson, I was reading a story about her today. You know she's 56 years old? Yes. The documentary, I hope you've watched it. It is so good. I watched it twice oh. when I had COVID. Wow, wind her up and there she goes. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens with a little hydration? <laughs> I Carry understand on. your love for Janet Jackson. I do, I love her. Still to this day, it is probably one of the best concerts I've ever mm. been to. So she mm. has a five-year-old. Mm -hmm. She's 56 years old. She has a five-year-old. And she's essentially said, hey, I know a lot of fans want more music, but right now she is focused on being a mom. I know Fantastic. my mom is probably watching right now and applauding this. Yes. But we have seen many examples of this recently. Jen Psaki, the outgoing White House press secretary. Yep, same. She said, I love my job, but I am going home because she wants to just soak up these moments with her young kids and her husband. You know what I realize is that, you know, I, I went through the same thing. You took a break. Many years ago. Yeah. And because when you're living with regret and you can never rewind, I mean, let's face it, we have 18 summers with our children. Wow. And when That's you think about it like that, yeah. time goes by very quickly. And so when, if you can and, and you, it, 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 you're able to do this, 
then definitely enjoy that moment. Well, and I think the reality for so many moms, too, I mean, single parents. You're choosing. Well, or maybe you have multiple jobs and yeah, you don't you, have that option to exactly. stay home. And I think the idea is really nice. Like, great, focus on your family. For so many people, I think it's a heartbreaking choice. Like, I have to go to work. Yeah. I have to make money to support my family. Um, another really interesting story. So there's this actress, Jamie Chung. She revealed she used a surrogate. She and her husband just welcomed twins after being married for six years. They used a surrogate because she was terrified that being pregnant would hurt her career. Oh my word. So there's still that stigma that if she were to, I mean, we've seen a lot of actresses, Emily Blunt, I mean, when she shot Into the Woods, she, she was, was pregnant, pregnant yeah. for the duration, I mean, she, and she was quite pregnant, right? And wardrobe really had to work hard to like conceal the pregnancy. But I think it's interesting uh, what Jamie said that she was worried she wouldn't be cast any roles and she wanted to go to work. Wow. Fascinating, huh? Yeah, very, very much so. Well, cheers to women, to Miss Kelly, to cheers, Pride. Cheers, Power. Happy Pride. Yes. Thanks again, Flight Club, for the uh, the cocktail supporting the Montreux Center. Do they, appreciate they are it. They delicious. That little egg white foam. Yummy. It's good stuff. These are available all month long. Go check them out for sure. Okay, guys. St mm. Oh, uh, and these are available, and it's uh, 16 or $14? 14 dollars 14 14 bucks. $14 all month long uh, mm. for June. Um, and this cocktail, the toucan. And Flight Club, one. by the way, it's like a darts place. So yeah. if you want to go, it's a great place to do like birthday parties, anniversaries, whatever you want to celebrate, go to Flight Club Houston. Again, it's at West Dallas and Dunleavy. It's a fun night out, and uh, that's where you can pick up one of these delicious cocktails. And 100% of the proceeds will benefit the Montrose Center right here in town. Okay, guys, still to come, she is the voice of Dolores Madrigal in Disney's hit movie, Encanto. But did you know she got her career started right here in Houston? Of course she did. We're sitting down with the voice actress, singer, and songwriter, Adasa. Can't wait for that. And whether it's the heart of your home or Maybe just the place you unpack your takeout. We all want a beautiful kitchen, right? Well, our design expert is here with options to match our style. Maybe she'll help us figure out our style as well. That's when Houston Life returns right after this. Welcome back to Houston Life. So here's a question. What is your style? Trendy, traditional, farmhouse chic? Maybe a combination of all those things. No matter your dream kitchen style, Maria Sotolongo with 50 Floor is here with tips to help us nail that look. And Maria, I'm glad we're breaking it down yes. today because oftentimes people will see a picture in a magazine or they'll see something on Instagram and they'll say, wow, I love that yes. space. But when it comes to pulling it all apart, and then putting it together, we might struggle creating our own look at home. And how do I do that? Well, no worries. 50 Floor will help you from beginning to end, and that is why we love to come to your home, bring you all of our samples, hundreds of them right there in the comfort of your own home, to help you pick. What is your style? Do you like the more trendy, or do you like the more traditional? And when you're speaking of kitchens, it really can be, like you said earlier, the focal point of your home. Doesn't everybody end up in the kitchen. It is so true. <laughs> Anytime people come over, we're always in the kitchen. It's like, guys, you can go sit down. You yes. can sit down. So let's talk about the trends because oftentimes people think of traditional, but traditional and classic style can be trendy, right? It really can. And again, nowadays with social media, which you can, by the way, find 50 floors on all of social media. I checked and out your Instagram today. Yes, yeah. you can get all kinds of ideas from there and then ask our experts to guide you through what was this floor? Because you could think of some people like to mix the metal with uh, wood and some people just like to keep it all wood and then have you know their uh, appliances metal the floor of course is a big important uh, kind of canvas you're gonna have tile for a lot of folks they really really would prefer this tile in the kitchen because it can look like wood it can look like anything nowadays with technology you can go really light colored or more of a uh, marbled color you can go darker you can go textured then over here you're holding the wider plank kind of a vinyl look, which is extremely popular. And in our kitchens especially, oops, let me drop that for you. Uh, that is really water resistant. And that is why lots of folks love that. And they can easily transition from something like vinyl or laminate and then use wood in the rest of their homes if that's what they choose. But again, there are many different kind of options out there. Some people really like the darker look in the kitchen. And so of course you've got the wood look 
look that you can use in any of the laminate or vinyls, but this that you see right there that you're kind of touching right there, Derek, that is engineered wood. And that also works better because it is more water resistant in the kitchen. So these look like wood, don't they? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's engineered, but it is still wood. Some people think that engineered wood is fake wood. No, it's still wood on the top layer. It's just not wood all throughout the entire uh, kind of plank. So it all depends on what's your again style or what's your budget and we can talk you through all of that. Well, and durability too. I mean, here oh, yes. in Texas where we have such fluctuating humidity levels and temperature levels, uh, an exactly. engineered will, will fare better than hardwood in many cases, right? It really will. Definitely weather and your lifestyle and your budget is a huge uh, kind of thing to consider. So 54 will talk you through all of that. It's still hard to believe that this right here is vinyl. Vinyl has come a long way. And I think of the kitchen yes. I grew up with in my house, we had linoleum floors that were brown and gold and oh. we had all gold appliances. <laughs> It was a look, people. Nice. It might come back one day, Maria Salongo. It's great to see you. Thank you. Thanks for coming by. We should point out to our viewers, all month long, 50 Floor has a special offer for Houston Life viewers. 60% off installation on all carpet, hardwood, laminate, and vinyl. Just call 877-50-FLOOR, 877-503-5667. Or, of course, you can visit them online, 50floor.com. All right, now let's send things over to Courtney. Okay, Derek, you know my aunt and uncle had a pink bathroom, so oh. I feel like maybe all <laughs> things old are new again. I, I can so. only have a pink bathroom in my dreams. Same. Do appreciate it. Thanks so much. You know, it is graduation season. Check this out. These grads are celebrating a really important milestone, taking the next step in building their careers. These students are graduating from one of Goodwill Houston's education and job training programs. They've completed the Google IT Support Professional Certificate Program and are now ready to take what they learned in the classroom and and put it to work in the real world. That's what I call success. It's all part of Houston, Goodwill Houston's mission to help change lives through the power of work. And here with a closer look at this free program, we have Barbie Parker and Gioberto Van Zandt from Goodwill Houston. Good afternoon, thanks so much for being here. Hi, Courtney, okay. thanks for having us again. Absolutely, Barbie, let me first start with you. Of course, the mission of Goodwill is so lovely and we love to talk about this. This is all about changing lives through the power of work and your programs are all free and specifically this one. Why is this one so attractive to so many people? Well, actually, Courtney, I'm gonna let my friend Gioberto talk about this. This is one of his programs and he's the guru for this <laughs> program. Well, thank you. Well, the Google IT program, it is a six month self-paced program where you're able to earn the industry recognized credential. Who would love to earn an industry recognized credential? All for the low, low price of free. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you sell it, Gilberto, for sure. Okay, for this latest group of graduates, why do you think that this is such a great opportunity for people to get involved in and really take that certificate out into the workforce? Okay, it is a great opportunity because right now the economically economic is uh, looking for industry recognized uh, certify individuals to take into their workforce. So who would love the opportunity to partner with Goodwill in order to get their uh, potential employees? Absolutely, this is all designed to prepare uh, people to start a career in IT support. It's something we all need, it's not going away. And Barbie, when we talk about the mission of Goodwill Houston, you guys are so much more than just a thrift store. Exactly. So when you donate and shop at Goodwill Houston, one of our over 90 locations, you are helping to change lives through the power of work. So all of the donations that you donate to us, we sell in our stores. And from that, we are able to put everyone through all of our programs and give them the tools they need to succeed and become a tax paying member of society. It really is. A it, it is incredible and a success story as we just saw the video of the current graduates coming out of the program and giving so many people two feet to stand on in, an, in a world where it is so difficult right now to find a job and to compete. And I think that that's really important, too, because if it's somebody looking for a job, Barbie, um, and, and to get free assistance, Goodwill is yes. the place to go. Exactly. Come see us. We are so happy to help you and, like we said, get you back um, into the workforce. And, you know, we also, at the graduation, it was just last Friday, and we had so many graduates. And we also had a job fair afterwards, and so many people were hired on the spot. It was just incredible and still gives me goosebumps that we are helping Houstonians. 
a major success story for sure. And Gilberto, um, if somebody is hearing this and they're thinking, you know, they know somebody who needs a job and or they are the ones that need the job, do they need any IT experience at this point to sign up for this program? That's a great thing. They do not. All they need to do is come and visit us at one of our five brick and mortar job connection centers and tell uh, the employment specialists that they're ready to enter into the IT field and we'll take it from there. Fantastic. Barbie Parker and Gilberto Van Zant, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Great to see you both. Thank you, Courtney. Thank you. Absolutely. To learn more about this program or how you can support Goodwill Houston, visit their website at goodwillhouston.org or you can give them a call at 713-692-6221. Well, still ahead, we will talk about Bruno with Encanto star Adasa, who is joining us live in studio for a chat and a live performance next on Houston Life. But first, we're halfway through the work week. Anyone need a massage? Uh, yes, please. We're gonna take a look at how one local massage therapist decided to open her own mobile business after her journey through college. That and more when Houston Life returns. Welcome back to Houston Life. It is Wednesday, so almost Friday, right, Courtney? Absolutely. Almost, a couple days away. So if you're feeling a little stressed, but maybe you don't have the time or money to go to the spa, we've got an idea for yeah, you. Yeah, listen to this. Lauren Kelly joins us with massage techniques you can try on a partner. Ah, oh, my neck, it hurts so bad. I need a massage, but I can't leave work right now. If only there was someone who could come to me. Talk about a hands-on day here at work. You know, ask and you shall receive. What I love doing is spotlighting some of our favorite Houstonians, especially when they've done so well in their schooling and they've taken it on to the next level for their business. Nikita Morrow joins us now. I asked for a massage and girl, you rolled on up and you brought your stuff right here. <laughs> now, I want you to tell everybody, you're a graduate of San Jacinto. What did you study while you were in school? I studied anatomy and physiology, kinesiology. Um, I learned about different muscles, how to maneuver them, how to maneuver the tissues, and kind of like how to work with um, patient or clients in their pain, alleviate stress. What made you want to get into being a masseuse? I love to help people. I do. I love to... Um, just relieve stress from every day, your everyday jobs, your everyday life, and just give you somewhere where you can come and relax for a little bit. And now you have started your own business. Yes. What is the name of the business? That's your name. Now tell us about it. Um, I'm a mobile massage therapist. I come to your home, I set up everything, and kind of just give you um, a chance to just chill out. Wait a second. A mobile massage therapist? Yes. And you can do this anywhere? Yes. Anywhere? Anywhere. Hi, huh. how did you get here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nikita, so we are talking about your mobile masseuse table. You've set things up. And for people who may not have the time during work, what we're gonna show everybody today is just a couple of tips on how to relieve stress and tension in your neck and shoulders, because I'm pretty sure that's one of the most popular spots people like right. to use, right? Yes. All right, let's talk about it. Okay, so we're gonna start here with the neck. Um, we can do a couple of stretches to kind of stretch out the muscle and um, relieve some tension. So what I'm gonna do is I'm place my hand here on her shoulder and I'm gonna place my hand over her head. I'm happy to take a deep breath in. And on the release, I'm going to pull slightly, and you kind of hold that for 10 to 15 seconds. You're going to do the same with both sides. Take a little bit of lotion. You can use lotion you have at home. Let's go down the sides of her neck. Nikita, this is all things that you learned at San Jacinto, right? Right, right. yes. We have hands-on classes and we had, during the pandemic, we had online classes, so we learned um, the book stuff online, and we were able to come in and do massages on it and learn a lot of stuff. And you were able to take those skills and practice at home, Yes, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, it feels amazing yeah. is what she just said. It looks like it feels amazing. Now, here's my last question about how long do you spend on each side? What's a good amount of time? Um, it depends on the type of session that they're doing, but roughly like 10 to 15 minutes, right. uh, 10 on each side. 
Well, before she falls asleep right here, Nikita, <laughs> thank you so You're much. Really I love thank this. You. Congratulations on your business. If you guys would like to book an appointment with Nikita, just log on to HoustonLife.tv. I've got a link up to your website, okay? Thank you. I feel relaxed just watching that. I know, so good. And I love hearing the success story. I know, right? It's so great she started her business, followed her passion. Well, if you are looking to follow your longtime passion or start a brand new business of your own, you can visit sandjack.edu if you'd like more information. All right, still to come. As we mentioned earlier, she is the voice of Dolores in Encanto. Houston's own Adasa will join us live in studio. And we'll check back in with Mel Camp, who's helping us protect our homes today. That and so much more. More when Houston Life returns. Welcome back to Houston Life. Courtney and Derek back with you at 3.30 on this Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Wednesday. Tomorrow's Baby Friday. There. Tomorrow is Baby Friday. We'll get there, don't worry. But first, let's check in with Brandon, Christine, and Justin for a look at what they have coming up at 4 p.m. Hi, guys. Hello. Yeah, every day we're getting closer and closer to Friday. I mean, y'all have had a week. You see, you danced on Monday, you danced on Tuesday. <laughs> now, no wonder you don't know what today is. I know, <laughs> cocktails and Conto. You know. I don't know what day. Derek was starting us off in May. May. At the beginning right. of the show. <laughs> <laughs> and then once you factor in the weather, it's rinse, wash, and repeat. I know. Well, and in I my know. defense, it was May at some point this year. You know what? It was. He's the it victim. was hot then, too. Right. <laughs> I was going to say, can't slip anything past you, can we, D-Shore? <laughs> well done, buddy. How are you looking, Jay? <laughs> well, look at hot. Rinse and repeat part what 15 at this right. point right? Yeah. yeah it's just not changing here's the other big issue that we've got this week as well because the Saharan dust is back and yes there's another plume that's literally on our doorstep you can see I mean look at that look at the haze into downtown air quality is going to be in the unhealthy category for sensitive groups pretty much all week lock this in I think even in through the weekend when we'll start to see that dust give way to slightly clearer skies and that's about it but it's impacting most of the Gulf Coast here from Brownsville Corpus on up here to Houston you see over towards Beaumont on Sabine and then into New Orleans where it's really getting concentrated as well. And part of the problem is, is that dust is right here. There's that big plume that's going to continue to slowly slide its way inland as we get to about, let's say Saturday, Sunday, we should get a bit of a break. Keep your fingers crossed. We may get a few showers that'll pop up as well. We'll talk a lot more about that at four o'clock, but there's more coming. This big area of high pressure called the Bermuda High is going to continue to take another big plume of that that's just getting off of the western coast of Africa now and head in our direction. Temperature wise, well, that's another part of that rinse and repeat. Mid to upper 90s across the area. We'll watch Huntsville to see if they can get close to the triple digit mark, but of course you factor in that humidity and everybody's feels like they're running between 100 to 105, 99 nanowack about 104 as you get on up to Walker County, which just went under a burn ban, by the way, today. So we'll talk more about that. Stormy weather continues across portions of the uh, upper Midwest, including if you've not seen the video from Yellowstone National Park yet, it is amazing and unfortunately very devastating as well. Those storm chances are going to continue. So headed out this evening, make sure you hydrate and please be careful in this heat. There's more of that on the way. In fact, next three days, guys, not much change. We'll talk about that slight rain chance. And when I say 20%, Many of you, that's probably 19% too high. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. just not going to see it. <laughs> I was going to say, so you're saying there's a chance. I, was I know. Trying, I know. Was trying we, to say, but I'm saying there's, there's a, a chance. chance. You know, that's we're right. going to hang on to those chances. Uh, Justin, thank you. And here's a look at some of the other stories we're covering for you at 4 o'clock this afternoon. The feds have hiked the key interest rate by three quarters of a percentage point, and there are indications it will go up again soon. So what does this all mean for your money? We're going to be talking to an expert live coming up at 4 o'clock. Indeed, also at four with the official start of summer just a few days away, scientists say a mega drought across the western U.S. could get even worse. How big an impact that will have on already high prices at the grocery store. And a gator attack where the victim lived to talk about it. That gator was seven feet long and mm. got a hold of his leg. What he had to do to finally get that gator off of him. So that harrowing tale coming up at four o'clock today, you guys. My word. Wow, wow. Glad he's okay. Yeah, so scary though. No kidding. All right, guys, a lot to get to. We'll see you at the top of the hour. Sounds good. And as we know, we're officially in hurricane season. Have you thought about how you're going to protect your home this year? Yeah, everyone should think about this for sure. We found a surprising way to add an extra layer of protection to your windows without boarding them up. It's the same protection used at Johnson Space Center and at the Pentagon after 9-11. Mel Camp is live with more on how it all works. Mel, uh, what have you been smashing there? 
Oh, well, I haven't got smashing, but that is coming up because I have this baseball bat. And we're going to take a look at how this very simple film, if you just put it on your regular windows, it can turn them into armoured windows. Armour glass, it's called. And uh, I brought in a professional bad guy to show us <laughs> why he hates it. No, 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 it's not true. Michael, you own this company. You own Armour Glass. That's right. You have been putting this on people's windows for 15 years now and have some amazing tales to tell about how it has stopped burglaries. It stops a mess when a hurricane is coming through. And um, we thought we should just fully test it for real. So what we're going to do is show you what your window looks like, and okay. she's going to do the honors and drop this brick on oh, your gonna... window. Okay. All right. This could be dangerous. All right. Just so right there, just drop it at will. I feel I'm scared. So this is glass that doesn't have armor glass. Right. On. It's just a, with what everybody has a regular window. Okay. Your regular window, brick comes through, flying through the air. He's okay. in. He's got ah, your stuff. That's scary. <laughs> this is the same type of cheap window with the film on it that she's got, and it what? doesn't go through. It doesn't go through. It doesn't go through. It doesn't go through. It doesn't go through. Now, oh, this is a regular window. So this is amazing, Michael, because this just looks like simple film. I, I think you can take a, a good look at it here. And this is a slider with nothing on it. It's just what you have for a window. Okay, so this is another regular window. Yeah, and then we're going to do oh one that has goodness. film on it. And she's going to hit it with the bat. My heart is ready. <laughs> okay, ready? I'm going to probably close my eyes. <laughs> That's it. That's oh my it. God. And now that is fully shattered. Yeah, and that's why they're in and out within two minutes because it takes nothing to get in. Okay. Now I've never done this. This is an old window, but it does have the film on the back, and we'll see. Whoa. That is amazing. Now Michael. what's the burger gonna do at this point? He's going to go next door where there's no film now you have <laughs> and an, break in. You have an example of a woman who actually had this installed in her home, on her windows. This is your existing windows. You don't have to put in brand new glass. You're just sticking this on. There was a woman and she had a, a person come to her house, knock on the door. She didn't answer because she didn't know them. And then what happened? And uh, he didn't think anybody was home, so he threw a paper in the back glass to get in. And normally it goes through, he follows it, he would have run right into her. But as it was, it bounced off. She heard that, he, she screamed, and he took off. End of story. Because wow, he couldn't no. get through. Like, no one's getting through that. And another great thing is any debris that is, is flying through the air, it's not going to just shatter. I mean, that glass over there went everywhere. This just stayed outside of your house. It's so amazing. Michael, this is just brilliant. And you have guys that just come and install it. It's a pretty simple process for you. Usually for most houses, it's a day. We've actually done retired teachers. We've done NASA. Uh, we've done Whataburgers. Uh, oh, you? Yeah, this is just not it. homes. You did mission control for NASA. Yeah, yeah. And the neutral buoyancy lab as well. And so basically, you're taking your glass and armoring the glass from both a hurricane that breaks the glass, uplifts the roof. You don't have to board out and burglars and, and solar heat. That is amazing. That was a whole lot of fun. Michael, thank you so much for showing us this today. Guys, what do you think? Are you, are you getting some? I could put it in front of the camera. <laughs> Every time. No, I won't. I won't. It's incredible to see <laughs> to, to see it all in action for sure, and to think that's just a film. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Very. I'm glad my, you're okay. My heart is racing. Glad you wore those safety goggles, Mel. <laughs> Thanks so much. There. They're very stylish. I think I might bring them home. I, I kind of like. Them. Can I keep them? Can yeah, I keep them? you may. You may. <laughs> Thanks, Mel. When we come back, she's one of the singers on Disney's hit song. We don't talk about Bruno. Singer Adasa is joining us live. There she is in studio. There she is. We're so excited about this. Hey, check this out. <laughs> Find out why she almost missed out on the role that totally changed her life. Don't go away. Houston Life will be right back.
Well, welcome back to Houston Life. We don't talk about Bruno as one of the most talked about songs of the year from one of the most talked about movies of the year. Uh, and that is an understatement, I would say, right? One of the singers featured in that song has roots, can you believe it, right here in Texas. She's bilingual Afro-Latino voice actress, singer, and songwriter, Adasa. And guess what? She is joining us today on Houston Life, Adasa. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you it's so me. nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> We're so happy for your success. And I had no idea you went to Conroe High School. I did. I did three years um, in Conroe. My family, they're holistic doctors, and they moved here. And my brother, Chuli, from Chuli Music, Ernesto is his actual name, um, big booking agent. He's like, come on over. Maybe we'll do something with music, because I've always been in music. And that's where it stemmed from. He got me into a group called Ecstasy, and it was four girls. At first, my now husband, he did not know uh, that I was related. And then he, my brother was like, you have to hear the singer. She's great. She's my sister. No, no, no. No sisters, no sisters. <laughs> and one day he was so smart, he snuck in a demo that he had me do, and I had, didn't know why. And then when my now husband heard it, and he was like, wait, I love this singer. I was just saying that. Cause, you know. <laughs> <'Cause it happened. laughs> and then he's like, that's my sister. And that's how I met my husband. And we got married here in Texas. Oh so my yes, gosh. I went to high school here. And then from here, I got signed to my first record deal. And then that was it for me after that. that years. It's really great. And you've been married for how long? 25. 25. Congratulations. How many kids? Seven. Seven kids. Yes, I was retired before Encanto. OK, so that's what we need to talk about. Seven kids. Do you know all of their names, first of yes. all? Yes. OK, and good. I have to do it slowly good. because sometimes I'm like, oh my goodness, I love you so much. I, I know. I, you know I love you. Listen, I have two kids and a dog. And, and, and my poor husband, I'm usually calling him Oscar, which is the dog's name. So it's all, you know, it never comes out it right. It would be easier if it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. Seven. seven. I need here. you. I need you. What's really incredible about you, Adasa, is that you've had this storied career, traveling, touring, performing uh, with Pitbull, Daddy Yankee, uh, Snoop Dogg, Enrique Iglesias, Lil Flip, dozens and dozens of others. Then you finally said, I'm going to be a mom. Yeah, I was focused on my kids. I mean, we have older kids, and then I was like, okay, that's, you know, I had a great run, you know, amazing career. And then I'm like, I'm gonna start homeschooling the little ones. We're just gonna dedicate myself to baking bread, and it was awesome. And then one day I receive an email, and it was Disney, and they were like, would you like to audition for a part? And mind you, since I was four that I knew I wanted to sing, when at nine years old I heard The Little Mermaid with part of that world, I knew it. I wanted to be part of that world, but meeting my husband, he's like, we can, you know, do reggaeton, we can do something. And he's a major songwriter, Don Candiani and Gabriel Candiani. He's written for Elida Yavante, Juan P. Moreno, a lot of Tejano and Mexican uh, acts. And he was like, let's take you to Universal. And I got signed with Universal Latino. And that's when I got the opportunity to do so many great things. And then, yeah, then Disney calls. And then I'm like, oh, Disney? Wait, my child inside. I was like, ah. And then when I auditioned, it was with Lee Manuel Miranda. And, and then they had me audition with, so, 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 so this is what it feels like to match with, with someone at your level. What the hell is the catch? It's the feeling of freedom of seeing the light. It's been freckling with a key and a kite. You see it, right? Which then turned into, hey, girl, I live in fear of Bruno stuttering or stumbling. I can always hear him sort of muttering and mumbling. I associate him with the sound of ball and sand. Tss, tss, tss. Oh. What is Dolores? Love it. Clearly, <laughs> you got the part. Yeah. I mean, that was fantastic. But it almost didn't happen, though, because all of your talent uh, was put on hold when you got COVID. Yes. You were hospitalized, and the stars were sort of seeming like they were not going to align for this film. Honestly, I thought I was going to die. And it was during the process that I had received my callback. And um, I thought, you know what, a callback is fine. You sometimes right. get to that point where you got the callback, yeah. Callback is a second audition. The second audition, because the first, you, you know, they see your picture, like, oh, I think they could do it. Um, and then I went to the hospital, I didn't feel well, and then all of a sudden I couldn't talk and I couldn't move, and they ran all the tests, and then they just told me, you know, with COVID, there's so many unknowns, and I had had COVID back in January, and I had the second wave in March, and I would get paralyzed from the neck down to where wow. I could not move, and so I had to learn to speak to my kids in very hushed tones. Please go get the, the tape. Thank you so much, sweetie. I love you so much. Can you please go to sleep? Or, oh, thank you for hugging me. And that's how I had to speak to them until I regained enough motion and started walking, and 
that's when Jamie Sparrow Roberts, which is the casting director for Frozen and yeah. I Am the Last Dragon, she was the one that personally called me to congratulate me for the role. And my husband goes, you, you gotta oh. tell her you can't take it. You're like barely walking and talking. And I'm like, call him back if I'm dead. I'm taking this, this is, this is it for me. It's the moment. It was the moment. And I, I call it a blessing, I believe in God, and I, I thank God every day. Three weeks later, I was in front of Lin Manuel Miranda, and he was like, "All right, so let's see. We're gonna do this." <laughs> yes, and I was wow. like, "No, or no, I'm literally, I'm not throwing away my shot." I no. really didn't. It was it. <laughs> it's fantastic. Well, what a story! And the Kids Let's Party Fest. This is happening yes. here in Houston. Information is on your screen. Happening next month, July 17th. So mark your calendars. This is something the public uh, will be invited to attend. I know yes. this is so great. Don't go anywhere, okay, Adasa? Well, you can move the, from the couch. We'll <laughs> allow you to do that. After the break, Adasa will be performing live in our studio. You don't want to miss this. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Houston Life. Before the break, we chatted with singer Adasa from Disney's hit film Encanto. And here she is performing her brand new song, Costanita Americana. Adasa, take it away. This is your girl, Adasa. Estoy buscando algo que mueva, voy escuchando. Salsa, o urbano y hasta reggae, reggaeton. Yo quiero algo que encienda, que me haga mover desde la cabeza hasta los pies. Haga mover la cadera también. Súbelo, sube, sube, sube. Lo que quiero yo y yo y yo, es que no le pare, no, no, no. Que el ritmo siga así, sí, sí. Esto es para ti, para mí. White and blue, but I never forgot that I'm Colombian to the girl that Spanish conquered. Mi familia stood strong. I did papa get not the dreams are written in song. Yeah, always climbing, we're unstoppable, always shining. Yeah, we got that glow. No, it's not in our vocabulary. As I said, all legendary. Hurry, hurry, yo soy colombiana. La sangre de mi gente me proclama. Esta costeñita americana con un flow oh, que te ama, te ama. Quiero bailar con Thank you. And uh, this is so great. You, you're, all your music is available to stream and download right now. Plus, you have yes. a new album coming out. I do. I have two, two new albums coming out. So one, Naomi Black, which is my country, rock, southern, soulful side. And another Adasa album with Costeñita Americana as the first song. So songs after midnight in English and Costeñita Americana in Spanish. Very nice. And once again, there's the information for the Kids Let's Party Fest happening on July 17th. Don't go away. Houston Life will be right back.
<laughs> that does it for Houston Life. But before we go, we do have a few programming notes to share. Tomorrow, Houston Life will be preempted with NBC Sports coverage of the U.S. Open. But don't worry, you can still catch us on Friday for a special live broadcast celebrating the past, present, and future of Juneteenth. We're live in Gal Galveston with historian Sam Collins, artist Ted Ellis, and the Juneteenth pageant winners, plus how you can retrace history and celebrate the holiday with your family. That show will happen at 2 p.m. because golf coverage will kick back up right after our Friday show at 3 p.m. That is right. So a great show. I, Adasa, can we just give another? She was great. She amazing. just walked out of I know, the I was... studio and we said goodbye. <laughs> and yeah, seven kids and living the dream. Absolutely. So cool to meet her and to hear her sing in person. Really great. All right. Well, that does it for us today on Houston Life. Thanks so much for joining us. Remember, we'll see you again on Friday. On Friday, right. That is right. <laughs> We're going to toss it over to Brandon and Christine now for the news at 4 o'clock. Which hey, is guys. still two days away. Right. right. Exactly. Yeah. Two I'm days. I'm sure I take my notes to not to forget. Yeah. There you Y'all, she was so talented. Amazing. What an amazing guest to have on the show. Thank you. Not right. bad. And from Houston, no surprise. I know. We love it. All right. We will see, see you, you guys Friday. tomorrow. We'll be here. Friday. Friday. <laughs> I'm always with you guys. Okay. As we are You're with here you. in our hearts. <laughs>